In this video I'm going to talk about Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. This was her debut novel and I've already read Normal People, some of you may have seen that I did another video about that one um, a little while ago. And this was her debut novel. I've just got around to reading it and I really enjoyed it. I loved it a little bit less than Normal People but it was very close. Um, it's kind of similar in its premise so it centres around Frances who's 21 and she's a student in Dublin and she performs a comedy duo show with her ex-girlfriend Bobby. They're still really good friends, they used to go out but they're just friends now and um, they have a great relationship together, they, they really are great friends and it's such a nice dynamic between them two in the novel. Francis and Bobby attract the attention of a journalist called Melissa who is married to an actor called Nick and Melissa's about 37, Nick's about 32 or something so she's a bit older and the four of them become friends and go to kind of launches and events and parties together and it's not really much of a spoiler to announce that Nick and Francis begin having an affair there's obviously quite an age gap. Bobby and Francis remain friends but Bobby doesn't actually know about the affair for quite a while. So they have this secret love affair um, which is really risky. It's chatty, it's familiar, it's, it's just a really easy holiday read. Quite similar to normal people, the style is quite simplistic, quite pared back so there's no quotation marks for any of the dialogue within the novel, it's all kind of embedded into the prose and it just flows, it, it's like you're inside Francis's head and consciousness and I think that really just gets you so gripped so quickly in the novel. So you kind of glide through it and don't even realise how far you've gotten um, and a lot of the dialogue is in the form of emails, text messages, phone calls, so similar to Queenie. Uh, Candice Carty Williams as Queenie, that the aspect of email and text really kind of bring it up to date and they're a fun addition and the novel is just really funny, um, light-hearted but there are also dark moments. The relationship between Melissa and Nick obviously has a lot of issues which are explored but equally the relationship between Frances and Nick has definitely some real issues as well. She's a lot younger, um, she's struggling for money throughout a lot of the novel. Um, her parents, her relationship with her parents is very problematic, they aren't together. Her dad provides her with an allowance but he is an alcoholic. She really resents her parents for the way that they are. They don't have a good relationship at all and because of this she really struggles for money um, while she's studying. So her relationship with Nick becomes quite dependent, he doesn't give her money but he helps her out, he buys food for her and that's kind of the only source of food and income that she really has at one point so she does definitely depend on him even though she knows that ultimately the relationship is not on the right path. When there's an affair going on you can imagine it's probably um, not the best foundation for a relationship so there are definitely issues there and it kind of forces her to confront her own issues that she has with herself, with Bobby. The two of them remain strong and there are a few blips but that was the relationship that I really cared about, I wanted them to be good. It's a great book, um, good to kind of pick up and you don't have to really concentrate too hard on it, you can kind of glide through it. So definitely if you're travelling anywhere it's a good one, um, light hearted and fun read and I would definitely suggest that you read it.